Here's how you locate the documents for Escambia County. Escambia puts all of their documents into one large PDF and you do need to know the auction date uh, as well as the tax deed number. So I'm going to go here and the one I'm seeking is uh, was auctioned on March 7th. So I'm going to go here and then I'm just going to do uh, uh, control F on this page to look for uh, the number that I need and it would be in this column. And then to open up the one large PDF, you click on the magnifying glass. And the first thing we're gonna look for is the title report, which they call the property information report. And that is, you just scroll down until you find it, which is, looks like this, Perdido does their property information reports. And then for the deed, you're gonna look for the owner information, which is here, Viola James, and then the deed is recorded in this book and page number. So you would use that book and page number to look on the official records website and you can pull up the deed. And then next, the notification addresses. Let me scroll back up. Yeah. Okay, the notification addresses are past the property information report and here it is. The certificate of notice of mailing and it has the names and the addresses um, for the persons and entities who have an interest in this uh, property. And then next, the tax deed application. If we scroll down a bit more, notification of application for tax deed. And the surplus notice from the county, that's gonna be closer to the bottom because they do, when Escambia uh, does their documents, when a new one comes along, <clears throat> they add it to the end of this PDF. The surplus notice is one of the last documents to come out because it happens after the auction, so it'd be more towards the end. And here it is, the notice of surplus funds from the tax deed sale.